Hey guys, I'm here again with one more thing that I needed to share with you all. And it's something when I've been reading, God has been drawing out for me and showing me how this thing has affected so many destinies. Now, there are so many people in life that, yes, you're a Christian, or you love God, or you just think you're okay, and Till you see someone else, God using them in a greater way than you, God blessing them, and then you start feeling bad. Like, what is that? Immediately, that pops up in your heart. You need to deal with it there and there. Because comparison is a vision killer. Comparison is a dream killer. Comparison brings blindness to your own destiny. And I remember... One thing after the trials that I went through, especially after high school and that age, you know, when you're so young and, you know, you, you really want to look like the part, but things were not working out. And I remember I would really cry to God because it seemed like my peers had left me behind and I was just stuck in one place for a long time. And I remember one day as I prayed, God just helped me to understand that, you know what, my life is my life. I should individualize my life. Their life is their life. Like whoever is around me, that is their life. We have different destinies. We have different journeys. And God knows everyone's beginning, everyone's end. And I was like, I just felt an impression in my heart, like, surely this is not my end. Why should I start looking at somebody else and feeling bad and beating myself down? You see what happened to Saul when he saw David was being used by God. David was killing thousands upon thousands. And for him, his song was not as great as what David's song was. He felt bad. Yet he was already on the throne. He was in a place of authority. Instead of taking this young man and nurturing him to be his heir in a responsible way, he sees it like an opportunity to kill him because someone else has risen who is more anointed, who has who has the virtues of God, who is strong, who kills many. As you know, he has he, he has seen all the indicators that. The Lord is with this person, but they have not accepted. They are still comparing this person's victory with their victory. In life, we have to understand everyone has a role to pray, play in every generation. Maybe your part is up to a certain boundary. And then the person you're meant to raise is supposed to take it to another boundary. But the deception has come in the hearts of men that no, I'm the one who's supposed to carry this till the very end. That's why it's important to know your boundaries, like asking God, how far am I supposed to play this part and who is supposed to take after me or who is supposed to walk with me after this instead of shutting down the will of God. So many people have gotten into an enmity with God by crushing what would be their deliverers in the future or the anointed of God. So it really takes discernment and maturity of spirit, not to compare yourself with another person, comparing other people's victories with yours and seeing like you're so unfortunate, yet God has done so much for you. And if that is happening with you right now, just go to God. He's the one who cleanses and heals our hearts. He's able to put our heart back in order because Proverbs 4.23 says, above all, guard your heart because that is where the matters of life spring forth. So you need to ask God to guard your heart, to be able not to compare yourself with other people, not to compare yourself with other people's destinies. Yet you might be going so far, digging so far, yet your treasure is just with you. So it is important to understand God who am I? What am I here for? What do you call me? To even know what God calls you. Because uh, there's this song that I, I, I've been listening to. It's from a group in Nigeria called One to One Seller. And they talk about how if you need your shoe fixed, you go to a shoemaker. If you need your chair fixed, you go to a carpenter. You can't take your chair, your broken chair to, you know, a shoemaker. 
that's how crucial it is to know where you fit in because some people they are trying to fix their issues by forcing them their shoes forcing them on a carpenter that is not how god has created you if god has created you to be a shoemaker you deal with the shoes if he has created you to be a carpenter you will deal with those broken chairs and all those things and make furniture so knowing where god has rooted you will save you com from comparison because once you start comparing yourself with this person you have a blackout in your vision yet you will not know why you're here and what you're here for and then in the end you just miss all your blessings because you are running after somebody like the way Saul was running after David so this is my encouragement and inspiration Please individualize your life. Work at knowing your destiny. You see that energy you're using to look at somebody else and feeling bad? Use that energy to ask God, what is my portion? What should I do? Once you channel your energy to your destiny, then you're able to move without bitterness of heart, without jealousy. Those are key things that keep jealousy away. Uh, constantly asking God to guide you in your own perfect destiny so with that may god bless you and may you have a pure heart and may god help you to have a pure heart as you go about this life i'll see you again and um, thank you thank you so much for your support bye bye